Now in this video we're going to look at question 2 of the question paper, the, the questions that they usually ask there. Write a note above each of the given notes to form the requested interval. Now the top note must belong to the bottom note. So when I look at that first example, B flat, I know that B flat major has a B flat and an E flat. So if I land on one of those, I know that I must add something. Now B flat, must they want a perfect fourth, so I count B, C, D, E. Write your note first, write the E. But I know it's not going to be an E, it must be an E flat. So I must take in consideration all the accidentals of the bottom note. Now, C major's got nothing. So let's first find the 6. C, D, E, F, G, A. So I write my A. But they don't want a white A. Now, you see what? I would want to have a more of a line there. Just be careful that it doesn't look like a B. Minor. So the white A, I must make one step smaller, smaller. So if I have a white note and I make it smaller, I make it a flat. So the A becomes an A flat. Now the next one is a D. D major has Father Charles. So let's count from D. D is 1. D, E, F. Not a white F. I need the F sharp. Okay. Now if I see this note, F, I know that F major has a B flat. So let's count up from F. F is 1. F, G, A, B flat, C. So that can be a normal C because they want a perfect fifth. And now the major seventh. G major has an F sharp. So let's count from G, seven up. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. It's not a white note. G major has got an F sharp. It's very important that you understand this. And another thing that is important, if I have a sharp and I lower the sharp, I get an accidental. And if I have a white note, that is now the accidental, a white note, and I have to do um, um, make a minor of that one, it becomes a flat. Now let's work out some more. A minor third from G. I must always work out G has an F sharp, so I need an F sharp there. Other notes, they're all white. So a third up, G, A, B. But I don't want a major third. I want that white note to become a minor. That's what you have to know. So a white note making that a minor, I add my flat. Now this is A and we must have a seventh, major seventh. A, Father Charles goes. Okay, so let's count seven up. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it's quite high, the G there. I don't want a, a white G, I want the G sharp. Okay, the next one, E flat. Okay, E flat has battle ends and it's important that you know your key signatures. So five up, E, F, G, A, B. It's not just a B, I need the B flat. Okay, now a D and a perfect fourth of the D. D, Father Charles. Let's count four up, D, E, F sharp, G. 
it is a white G. Now you get separate papers in the examination to work this out. I would write this down, that if you go through everything, that you see whether how you thought and whether you thought correctly on all these. Now this is a D. We've done the D in the previous one as well. Okay, and we've done it there. D major's got father, Charles. So now a six, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Now this is a major, but I don't want a major six. I want a minor. So I must make this a flat. Okay, so this is very important that we know our key signatures and that you write it on that separate page that you write everything down. Lots of students struggle with this, um, adding key signatures just to the following blocks, okay, and also writing the primary trites. So let's go through this. They say here, yeah, add key signatures to the following blocks according to the given primary trites. And they show you that 1, 4, and 5 will always be big in major, and in minor I will have a small 1 and a small 4. And here they give me the example, G major, because they say this bottom note is the fourth. G, A, B, C. So there I see C is the fourth of G major. Now this one, they say B is the first, the tonic of a minor. So you write your B minor. And I know B minor is related to D major. Okay, so I count my three half steps up. B to C, C to C sharp, C sharp to D. And then I do write my father, Charles. Now this is big, so this is a major. A flat, A flat major. So now I have to count down A, G, F, E flat. It can't be E. Because E does not have an A flat. It must be E flat. So if this is 4, I count on 4, 3, 2, 1. Then I know I'm an E flat. And I have battle ends at. Okay, now the last one is A major. A major can also be A minor. We will see why just now. Can it be A minor? No. Okay. A major chord. Let's see. So A is 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A, G, F, E, D. So it's something with D. So let's see whether it can be D minor and D major. Now D major is Father Charles and D minor is related to F major. So it's got a B flat. But I raise the seventh. So it can be both. It can be both the D minor and it can be D major. Easiest one there to write is write your father Charles for the major. Now we have some other examples here as well. And you see this is the one that we worked out last time. So this is the example they gave us. Now here, B flat is the tonic, so that's quite easy. I write B flat, big B flat, it's the major. And I have in the bass clef, battle ends. Now this is E major or E minor. Let's see why. No, E is the fifth. Okay, so it's not counting from that. So, let's work out. E is the fifth. Five, four, three, two, one. So it's either a major or a minor. So let's work it out. E, D, C, B, A. So it's either a major or a minor. So let's see. A major will have Father Charles goes. So that can be the A major. And if I say it's A minor, it will 
have no key signatures, but it can be A minor because I raised the seventh. And the seventh of A is G sharp. So you can either leave it like that and write A minor, or you can write A major and have Father Charles Curse. So you must always have a warning light going off when you see five. Always. Okay? Even with this one, it can be D minor. It can be D minor where you have a B flat that you add because I know the raised seventh of D is C sharp. You can also leave it quite uncomplicated. Now this, they show me they want a minor. So I have E. E is number four. E, D, C, B. Four, three, two, one. B minor. B minor is related to D major. So I have Father Charles. And remember that you have to write the key in front. Now here is the way that you had to write it for question 2.2. But here they say write the primary trites with key signature. So you have to for D write the key signature Father Charles and then I start on my D note and I make a chord. I make my trite D, one, three, five. I don't have to add anything there because I've got key signatures. Now E flat, four. E flat, write your key signature. Battle ends and. Okay. And four. E, F, G, A. I start on A. One, three, five. I don't have to add anything. But when I see a minor and I see five, I have a warning light. I have the warning light. Because if I raised my seventh of E, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, D becomes a D sharp. It's very important. Now E is related to G major. So I write my father, okay, my F sharp, and then on five, E, F, G, A, B. B, D, F. And I must add my D sharp. This is very important. That is where lots of you lose mark. You lose marks there. Okay, when I see a minor and I see the dominant, I must remember that. So let's end this video with another example of the primary trites that I have to add. A major, Father, Charles, Goes. And it starts on four. So I come A, B, C, D. I'm in the bass clef. D, F sharp, A. You don't have to write your F sharp there because it is part of my key signature. F sharp, F sharp, minor is related to A major. And so it's the same as that one. So I write Father, Charles, Goes. If you um, want to go through the video again with the major and minors, I've got a video on my channel. Go through that again, it's very important. There I see five again, so I've got a warning light. F sharps, raised seventh is E becomes an E sharp. It's very important. So on 5, F, G, A, B, C, C, E, G. I can't leave it like that. I need my E sharp. And then last, G minor, related to battle ends, B flat, E flat, because it's related to B flat, and I write G, B, D. So go through all the work here. If you don't understand something, go through the previous videos.